for this uh, close to 600 uh, gram very thick very fresh black prawn fruit cooking up hi this is cooking up today up actually has a very nice uh, black prawn fruit here and i am going to uh, just deep fry it and use and pour on top some of my tam, uh, Thai chili sauce so it's going to be a very simple dish by the way you need to prep the fish before you uh, uh, deep fry it. first of all wash the fish thoroughly and then uh, do um, uh, make some few cuts yeah, on the fish body like this on the sides and um, sprinkle it with a little bit of uh, salt so next thing prepare some oil and uh, make sure the oil started to smoke before you put in the fish and use a long spatula to put in the fish so that you can uh, run away gracefully <laughs> like how I just did after you add in the fish into the smoking hot oil what you do is you can uh, leave it let it uh, actually deep fry for one side for about two minutes before you flip it over don't touch it first yeah don't touch it so why is it your fish tend to stick on the bottom of the wok one reason is because you flip your fish or you touch your fish or you move your fish too fast um, why too fast it is because um, it has not yet formed the uh, crust at the bottom you already move it so that is the time where the, the skin will tend to stick at the bottom. So the trick here is you let the crust form first. Yeah, it will probably take approximately two minutes. All right, this is after approximately two minutes. Sometimes it will stick a little bit at the bottom. So I use this to uh, Gently clear it. Next thing, you can actually push the fish over to the side and flip it over. Make sure you don't reduce the heat. Yeah, let it keep, let it keep it at a high temperature. So we will fry this side for an, and the next side uh, for another two minutes before we continue. I'm not sure if it, you have you have seen any of those real restaurants how they actually deep fry fish. Now, um, one reason why their fish don't really stick because the amount of oil they use is like about uh, three times or four times of what we normally would use at home. So when you have that kind of amount of uh, oil. The, the fish, when you put inside the wok, it will be nicely surrounded by all the hot oil. Not like what we are seeing right now. Actually, only half of the fish is um, uh, face, uh, touching the oil. The other half is not touching the oil. So, um, the, whatever we do right now, especially the deep frying side, will not turn out to be as great as those uh, at the uh, restaurants. And... Yeah, there will be, if the restaurant is doing, is frying this fish, their oil will be almost filled out at least three quarters of this particular wok. Alright, this is another about two minutes. Wow, this fish is too big. Have to carefully scrap the bottom. I think this is probably five six hundred gram easily, so it doesn't get cooked so easily. A bit difficult to flip. Very thick, very thick corn fruit. Actually, this corn fruit I was told by the seller, you can it is so fresh until you can even steam it. Yeah, but. Of course, I'm sure uh, every one of you will say, "Huh, black corn fruit steaming? No way." Uh, hmm. Apa also never tried. <laughs> right. This is after another one minute. 
I guess actually the fish is already cooked. I just want to get a kind of char. Right, see the char is getting nicer. Mm, this is the kind of char or the brownish golden color that I like from uh, deep fried fish. So I think I total total time of frying this fish is somewhere around seven minutes plus minus, yeah? Total time. Mm, now it's beautiful. Let me show you this side. You can see better. See? Ooh. All right. The split done. Total deep frying time approximately seven minutes for this uh, close to 600 uh, gram. Very thick, very fresh black product. So you always, before you take out the fish, you always push to the side to allow the oil to render out. Then you move it over to an oil absorbing paper at the side. Like this. Okay. Alright, Appa actually bought, went to a Thai restaurant yesterday and it so happened that they are also selling some of their uh, sweet Thai chili sauce. So I just bought one bottle. Then we can just drizzle yeah, the Thai chili sauce on top of the fish. There you go. Done. That's how simple it is to make a home-cooked dinner. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on the Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.